We're here in Wilds Gallery in, in Basel and we're showing Daniel Conagar, who is a Spanish-American artist. He divides his studio time between Madrid and Los Angeles. And we have the pleasure of showing him in Basel for the first time with this exhibition called Hidden Tides. And the show really covers two main topics. One is the sort of continuous informational flux that we find ourselves in and the, the constant sort of absorption of, of data. And the other is what these technologies are doing to our lives and sort of the ecological impacts of the incessant flow of, um, of new technologies. And so here in this room, we have a series called Amalgama, which um, Daniel made by Google searching the top 500 artists of all times. Um, after he got these names, he then took 10 works from each of these artists, created an algorithm in his studio, which liquefied these works, essentially bringing paintings back into their liquid form and melding them together. And the video that you see behind me is a continuous uh, sort of mix of these, uh, these paintings. So it never repeats itself. The work is uh, constantly flowing. It can, however, be paused at any time if, if you perhaps want to spend more time with a particular image, um, but it's, it's in constant flux. In the other two rooms, we have Ripple and Shilam. Both works are connected to the internet. Ripple is connected to CNN's website, and anytime CNN uploads a new video, it shows this video, and then it sort of flows down the screen, creating a sort of wake um, in, its, in its past. And it's, a, again, sort of a reference to how we're continuously being bombarded with news, and it's constantly changing, constantly evolving, um, yet sort of incrementally. And Shilam is uh, showing us 383 financial index funds internationally, and that is, again, live. So the numbers that are going down are the funds that are falling, and the ones that are going up are the ones that are rising in value. The colors are based on the main international currencies in the world. So we have the US dollar, the euro, the yen, Swiss franc, etc. And um, yeah, and it's sort of supposed to be this pulsating kind of veins of our economic um, ecosystem. In the other room on the ground floor, we have two works. One is called Plexus, which has uh, the artist's hands sort of dancing in this synchronized form. And it's a commentary on mass production and sort of the erasure of the unique hands of the artist or the unique hand of a producer replaced by sort of machine mass production. It's sort of ironic that the digitization of the world is being erased by the digit. Um, and they're sort of replacing one another. The second work in that room is called Loom, which is showing us real-time Google trends that people are searching. And the work can be programmed to show us what the Google trends are in Switzerland, in the world, or in any other particular country. And it sort of um, flows through the screen as if it was a textile. Then upstairs, we have 10 works from Daniel's Latency series. And these works are sort of obsolete technologies that he has procured from different um, electronics uh, recycling plants and placed them on these screens, which then animate them in, in some form or another. So we have um, shredded works, works that have been crushed or otherwise destroyed, and um, it's also sort of a commentary on the environmental impacts of how rapidly we go through our technologies. So Daniel has always been interested in technology. His uh, studies were in photography, so that's where he was mainly focused for a big uh, chunk of the beginning of his career. And that sort of evolved as technologies evolved um, into working with algorithms and big data and finding ways of artistically sort of returning those works into some sort of aesthetic form for us to kind of understand the technological world around us in a, from a new perspective. Um, he has a very strong sort of art historical background and so you can kind of see that with works like Amalgama um, but he is interested in sort of tradition and, and standing in front of a work and for him it's very important that there is the physicality even though he works with digital um, creates digital artworks it's very important for him that there's sort of the physical relationship when one stands in front of an artwork and you know this year he has um, represented Spain at the World's Fair in Dubai, so there he's created a, a massive um, artwork that 
that is um, sort of generated by the audience. And, and he thinks a lot about also sort of including the, the audience in, into his work in some way or another.